in and welcome to my yard sale. I'm selling it all today, my plaque, my dog, everything that you could possibly want is for sale because I'm gonna make money today. The name of the game is making money and I'll sell my wife if I have to. Get in here, you're my wife. Please don't sell me. I'm selling sperm too if you want some. You are? Yes. That's like a real big conversation that we should have. I know, but you know what doesn't matter in this life? Being broke. We're starting a new life. Where should I be from? Egypt? It's a hard life in Egypt. Jail for nine years for being gay in Egypt. <laughs> okay. Mark Park. I was born a male in Houston, United States. I was the result of a random bumble hookup. I'm a Gemini. My dad is also... Oh, I thought my dad's name was also Mark Park. My dad is Clifford Park, he's a real estate agent, and my mother is Laquita Campbell, a Navy officer. We're gonna go with this. I like these stats. I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty healthy, pretty smart. Not the best looking, but I can get plastic surgery because I'm gonna have so much money. So let's keep going. My mother gave birth to a girl. I've got a little sister. She was the result of a random Tinder hookup. Wait, so my parents met on Bumble and my sister's parent met with one of my parents on Tinder. So somebody's cheating, but that's not gonna keep me from making my money. You broke your mother's flower pot while you were playing. What will you do? Admit that I broke it or it wasn't me. I'm gonna admit that I didn't break it because I want a good relationship with my mom because I need her money in the future. I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna spend some time with my mom. Actually, I'm gonna ask her for money. She gave me $58. Okay, we're on our way. We are on our way. And Genesis Campbell, I mean, last time I was really mean to my brother. Like I just, I just whacked him in the spleen every single time. So this time I'm just going to have a conversation with her and we disagreed, so. Oh, we really disagreed. You and your half-sister Genesis got into a heated argument when discussing your imaginary friend. What do you do? I'm gonna try to be nice for this first time, and if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with. I'm gonna study harder, I'm gonna study so hard. Oh, look how hard I'm studying. Look how hard I'm studying. Oh, I'm studying so hard. Oh, I'm studying, so oh. I'm in second grade! I am killing the second grade right now, killing it. I can only go to the doctor and the movie theater right now, so I'm gonna, Go see a children's film. I have to take care of my mind. I'm studying so incredibly hard that I gotta do something that's nice every once in a while. My enjoyment was very high. I went to the theater to see Sight of Cinema, but trust me, there weren't any uh, nice sights to see. And we are aging up. My half-sister Genesis started elementary school. Good for her. Well, guess what? I'm gonna study harder and harder and harder and harder. Oh, look at me. Oh, what's this part? The knee bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the collarbone. I study so hard. The collarbone's connected to the toe bone. And that's how you make a human. I'm a brainiac. I'm a teacher's pet. I stay extra time at the end of every day. I bring teacher an apple. I kiss the teacher in private when nobody else is looking. And she pays me sometimes for it. You and your father went strolling around town. Okay, my parents are so boring. Like they're only interesting behind closed doors when they're going on these like Tinder relationship app dates. But uh, to my face, they're just like, yo, wanna have some toast with that glass of water? And I'm like, ugh. Ask my mom for money, she refused. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm gonna spend time with my mom, with my mom, not my money. You and your mother went mountain climbing. Age nine years. You, you all know what we're gonna do. And my smarts went up by 1% from studying all that time. So this is very good. Spend time with mommy. We meant bird watching, how fun. And have a conversation with my sister. We dis we hate each other. I'm trying so hard to be nice to this girl and she's just not letting it happen. She always does this stuff that's like, you're not even my full brother. And I'm like, that wasn't even my choice. Like, why don't you run away? The people who are raising us are my parents. You half blood. I got smacked for that one. How happy am I? 96? Guess I gotta go to the old movie theater. Uh, stairway to the stairs. Oh, it's to the stars. I was like, wow, stairway to the stairs? That's gonna be a good one. I'm so happy. We're aging up. Bully! I've been studying so hard, everybody thinks that I've got a small wiener. A kid in your class tells everyone that you have a small wiener. What do you do? Do nothing? Report him to my teacher. My teacher really likes me, by the way, and she can attest that my wiener is not that bad. Or assault him. I'm reporting him to teacher because the teacher really likes me. Snitches get stitches. Uh-oh. Hopefully he doesn't beat me up. 
but hey, I'm still 100% happy, so that's great. I'm just gonna study harder, okay? I'm gonna keep my head down and do everything I possibly can to succeed in life because that's the only thing I care about right now. I can, wor I can work on my looks later. I can make friends later. When I'm rich later and I sell all my stuff and everybody likes me, then maybe it won't matter so much that I got bullied in school. Now I'm gonna spend time with my dad. We went for a swim and I spent time with my mom. We went to the library. Can these people please take me somewhere good? I just need to improve my relationship with my parents because if I do, it'll pay dividends later. <laughs> if you know what I mean. You know, the old, eh, here's my money kind of thing. 11 years old. I'm gonna have a conversation with my sister. She, no matter what I do, this girl just doesn't like me. That's it. You attacked her, but she dodged you. Okay. Hmm. Whoever her parent was, they must have been a little bit more superior to me. Okay. Next year. I'm just gonna squabble a little bit. You squabbled with your sister about whether or not she's been snooping in my room, which I know that she has. What? Your sister assaulted you. She whacked your torso and it destroyed my happiness and my health. She really whacked me good, didn't she? I'm going to a medical doctor. You're currently in good health. My legs are broken. I'm going to uh, Jonathan Buck. Second opinion, you know, he says I'm also in good health. What the heck? Oh my God, my sister is ruining my life. I mean, I always like a good movie. You're unable to find an interesting new child's film? I must be too smart for the children's films now. <laughs> Ask me any uh, square root equation. School dance. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a girl named Lillian Owens. What will you do? Go by yourself. School dances, eh, they're not for me. Or ask Lillian to go with me. Lillian is extremely good looking. If she says yes and goes to the dance with me, then this will completely cure our little happiness problem. However, if she says no, then my happiness and my heartbreak is gonna go straight into the crapper. So like, this is a, this is a really big risk. Please Lillian, please, 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 please go with me, please. No! Lillian Owens rejected you. You went to the school dance by yourself. Your happiness is over. Your life is over. Oh, okay, okay, no, no, no. Ah! Okay, um, I'm gonna spend time with my mama. We went bungee jumping. My happiness is coming back up. It's coming back. I'm turning my life around. Life isn't about that girl who rejects you. Life is about how you turn it around, you study hard, and you come back strong. This is an inspirational story about a kid who just studies all day. We're aging up. It's the first day of school and you're thinking about first impressions. How do you dress? Gothic? I don't wanna be the goth nerd who studies all the time and nobody likes me, so I'm not gonna do gothic. Preppy. I'm not exactly like a prep kind of person, like I study all day, I get rejected to the school dance and I go see children's movies with my mom, so maybe I can be like that cool, laid back kid, you know, like that hipster style. Like, yo, I listen to Arctic Monkeys. I'm a bit of a soft boy, but I'm really smart. Like, I, I think I'm gonna do trendy. And who knows, like, this is probably gonna make me a little, you know, a little more attractive. I signed up for social media. <sighs> Hopefully I can sell my, my fit tea, make a little viral Instagram and start selling some stuff on there. I'm not forgetting the, uh, the old name of the game here. I'm just trying to work my way there. I'm 15 years old and a 13, a measly 13 year old is trying to ask me out right now. She is not very good looking. She's incredibly stupid, incredibly crazy, but super popular. <laughs> okay, so I feel like my happiness is like, kind of low right now and I feel like bringing this girl into my life, it'll up my status at school and make me more popular. But at the same time, she is, she's gonna hurt me. She's crazy. She's popular with the 13 year olds. I'm 15. I'm gonna reject her and wait for the one, okay? I can go to the gym now. This is it, I'm working on my looks now. I didn't need that crazy girl. I can do everything I want. $19, I'm gonna be out of money soon if I'm not careful. I worked out at the Houston gym and my looks went up ever so slightly. Uh, spend time with her. We went yodeling, yodeling. <laughs> we're aging up. You have been diagnosed with hives. That's fine. First thing we're gonna do is study as hard as we can with our hives. We're gonna make a little TikTok and you know, do that challenge where you're like covered in hives and then I'm gonna wait till I'm good looking and be like, oh, cause I am on social media, you know? So I'm gonna go to the doctor, medical doctor. Jeremiah Richards never does me wrong. And he outlined some treatments and I'm no, I'm continue. What? I was so positive. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to get a second opinion. 
Jonathan Buck, please. I'm no longer suffering from hives! Jonathan Buck's my new guy. When I need plastic surgery pretty soon, I'm hitting him up. I have graduated from high school. Whew. Okay, now my major, political science, engineering, dance, information systems, or education. I wanna make money, so we are going into engineering and applying to university. <gasps> oh no. Annual tuition is $14,000. Mm. It's gonna cost me 60 grand to get this education. First order of business, I'm gonna try to get my parents to pay. But I feel like I've studied so hard that I could get a scholarship. I just want, like when my parents pass, I want my, my pot to be really big. So I'm gonna apply for a scholarship. Rejected? But I'm so smart. Okay, I'm asking my parents to pay. Your parents refuse to pay your tuition. <gasps> my life is falling apart. Apply for a student loan. Approved. Oh, okay, I'm now enrolled in university. I need to study so hard because I don't have any money at all. I studied so hard in second grade and it's just not paying off right now. I'm suffering from ringworm. I caught ringworm at the gym of all things. Jonathan Buck, you never steer me wrong. Oh no, I'm not covered anymore because I'm 18. I can't afford it. I have to resort to crime. Pickpocket someone. A surfer dude, a stockbroker, or a local politician. I think a stockbroker, it's a little more risk to that, but it's less risk than a politician. And unlike the surfer dude, this guy probably has money, so I'm gonna pick. You successfully picked his pocket. I, I had to do it. I have to be able to afford my doctor bills, okay? You are no longer suffering from ringworm. I only have $39 to my name, so I'm donating sperm at Houston Reproductive Health. <gasps> I got 68 bucks. I'm selling all of the sperm that I could possibly have. I'm gonna sell it to both places. They're not, they're not interested. Will this place take my sperm again? No, nobody wants my sperm anymore. 18 years was a very productive year for me. Look at all the stuff that I did. 19, I'm gonna sell my sperm again. This is a lot better than asking my parents for money. While running errands, you witness a gangster being cruel to a dog. What do you do? He's a gangster, so I'm gonna call the police? Should I, like, okay, I've been ratting since elementary school. Am I a more evolved rat now? I think so, calling the police. He assaulted me! No! Oh, uh, uh, he detached my face. Oh no, I'm gonna call the police again. Oh, he got busted. Oh, my little nerdy ass is not feeling too good today. Thankfully, he gave me my face back because my looks are still the same. Mariah Hernandez, age 16, high school student. She's extremely good looking, pretty rich, half crazy, and not very smart. This might be the perfect, this might be the perfect girl for me. Are you sure you want to date a 16? No! 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 She's not my type. She's not, she's not my type. I don't like her. The Okay, I'm just gonna focus on my meditation. It's been a year, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell some spermies. This post is status update and it got five likes. That's less likes than last year. Am I ever gonna be done school? Me and my mom made friendship bracelets. Okay, mom. And me and my sister agreed it's better to wipe from front or back. Obviously from front to back, right? You don't wanna go back to front. That's disgusting. Why is my sister disgusting? Okay, my little my little sperm donations is it's literally my only source of income right now. Oh, Kayla, huh? While at the gym, you meet a chick named Kayla Twain. Extremely good looking, extremely smart, extremely rich, and not crazy at all. I'm asking her on a date. She rejected me and called me stupid. I'm not stupid. Look at my smart meter. Oh, I didn't need you anyway, Mrs. Kayla Twain. Stupid. Wow, what a jerk. I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket. And I didn't win. You graduated from university with an engineering degree. What will you do now? I think I'm gonna look for a job because I need money really, really bad. I'm really smart. There's absolutely no reason why this engineering firm would turn me down. And it's corporate. Oh, give me that. Yes! I've never gotten like a good job in this game before. I'm so happy. I make 44K a year? Guess who can go to the gym now? Please? Oh no. Next year. Guess what, dad? I'm an engineer. Guess what, mom? I'm an engineer. And my sister. I'm just gonna go very quickly and sell my sperm. There's gonna be little versions of me running around everywhere and that is a blessing to this planet. My father retired. It's a little early, don't you think, Dad? Oh, he's 66, that makes sense. We went to pick flowers. 
Don't you just love picking flowers with your retired dad? Me too. And my sister. Ah, oh, who could forget? We went break dancing. <laughs> I'm a credit to the team. My health is through the roof. I know I'm not very good looking, but hey, I need this promotion. Your promotion has been rejected. I guess I can post on social media about it. Asked for a promotion, got rejected. My boss's nose hairs are just disgusting. Hopefully he never sees it. I got 16 likes. I'm getting a little bit more popular every year. Car giveaway. While walking through the cemetery, because that's what I like to do in my spare time, you run into BitLife devs. They show you a brand new purple Jeep Wrangler with a ribbon on it and say it's yours if you turn on BitLife notifications. What'll you do? I got a Jeep Wrangler! And I turned on push notifications for it, so it better be worth it. This is Terry's phone, so good luck with that, Terry. Yeah, thanks a lot. My half-sister married an 18-year-old unemployed person. She changed her name to Genesis Borchlet. My salary is now 46,000. I got the ring! That's it. Everyone, we're going to Pilates class. We are going straight to whitewater rafting. And I'll never forget you. I don't know why you married a deadbeat, but I wouldn't expect anything less from my lovely half-sister. Me and my dad went on a hip-hop freestyle battle. The only hip-hop I know is the uh, intro song for Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but it worked. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. That's the best I could do. Oh, we went gambling. Okay, hopefully I didn't lose money from that. Time to donate some more sperm. This is okay. Like, I'm trying to like live my life and sell stuff, but all I've really been able to do is uh, give my sperm away. I'm doing the reverse 100 baby challenge right now. I'm just gonna check how much plastic surgery costs. Uh, liposuction? Is that what my problem is? The problem with my looks is I don't know what my problem is. Penis enlargement surgery. Is that gonna help my looks though? Maybe some Botox? 600 bucks, I'm gonna get the surgery. It was successful, my looks went up. $6,000, I can't afford to get my wiener bigger right now. We're just gonna have to wait for the wiener. I really wanna find love, but I feel like love is really gonna hurt my happiness. But alas, the name of the game is money today. So if I marry, I'm gonna marry older, or I'm gonna marry rich. Or both. Actually, only both. Just so they die sooner or I make more from the divorce. My father passed away. He died from whooping cough. He didn't give me any money when he died? He probably gave it all to my mom. How old's my mom? <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Her money meter did go up. Well, mom, spend some time with you. Went to a cafe. Okay, we're shopping for real estate. Hopefully there's something cheap that I can buy. It's all really expensive. I'm just gonna go sell my sperm, okay? I'm gonna try to sell my car again. Yeah! Okay, now I'm gonna buy a cheaper car because I need a car. I'm gonna get the cheapest car there is. I am now the owner of a Chevrolet Suburban. Had a conversation with my sister's son about how to wipe his butt. I don't like how all of these babies that my sister is pumping out, like they become part of my life. I've been promoted to engineer three. I now make 60 grand a year. And all I have to do is go to the gym and sell a little sperm. Just, just, a, just a few drops. I like going to the gym and then making that money back from selling sperm. Now, it's time to do the real estate shopping of my life. Wow, that palace is very expensive. Okay, so I'm very interested in the houseboat. I'm now the owner of the affordable manufactured home. Look at me go. Oh, almost forgot to sell my sperm. I like how it's called donating when really I'm selling it for 60 bucks. All these amazing stats and I've got nothing to show for it right now. I'm gonna buy this house with cash. I'm short $731. Can I donate sperm for $700? All right, mom. Mom, please, I need money. She gave me $1,500, I can do it, I can do it. Mm, mm -hmm. Now I rent a house and I own a house. Things are starting to happen. My sister is having so many kids that they have their own little category now. Like I have to click to get to them. It's extremely weird that I'm only making 60K as an engineer. So I'm gonna bump my happiness back up and try to get another, well, I'm gonna donate sperm first and then bump my happiness back up and try to find a better job. Amelia Perry Sato is asking me out. She's 17 and has nothing good about her. So that's a no for me. This engineer here makes 80 grand. I only make 60, so I'm applying. It's the same, I did it. You saw someone call your half-sister Genesis a scallywag. Well, she kind of is. I don't really want to get into a fight right now. I just got a new job. <laughs> I'm such an adult this time about this game. This is like the exact opposite of the last time I played. I'm forgiving her. My half-sister Genesis and her husband had a baby. How many kids are these two gonna have? All right, so I, okay, I gotta donate sperm first. 60 bucks in the bank. Okay, so I have 
$38,000 right now. I'm going to age up and see how much I made. Only 52. I make 80 grand a year. Where is all of my money going? So last year, this was worth 57. Now it's worth 54. I'm just gonna donate sperm and go to the movies and call it a day. Promoted. <gasps> I make $91,000 a year now. Assistant engineering manager. Oh my, okay, my Chevrolet keeps breaking. The condition is horrible. I need a better car. Wait, nobody wants to buy it? I'm just gonna have to buy a better car right now. I'm gonna have to sell some sperm and then buy the car? 57, it's like they're paying me less for my sperm every single year. Okay, I can't buy a car this year. I'm 38 years old. My niece just started elementary school. This guy is really living by the book and it's just not working out for him. Aliens. I told a crazy person I believe in aliens. I'm 40 years old and I've made no money. I make 91K a year. I really thought that by now I'd be making like serious cash. And there's no job that like pays more than my job. So I'm donating sperm for $55. It's a depreciating asset apparently. They pay me less every single year. Please give me a promotion, please. Why do these engineering firms keep rejecting me? I've worked so hard my whole life. That's it, I'm going clubbing. And I didn't enjoy it that much. Nitrous oxide, you've been offered laughing gas. What'll you do? Ah, oh, give me the gas. Natalie Pussy. While at the library, you met a female named Natalie Pussy. She's not good looking, but she's got a lot of money. I'm asking her on a date. You are now dating Natalie Pussy. Great. First date at 40 years old. She's younger than me. Ah. Oh. So my goal now is to marry her and divorce her. Or kill her, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. This engineering manager makes 108, so I'm gonna apply for that position. And I got accepted! And I'm gonna go sell my semen in celebration. Oh yeah, I have a girlfriend. Oh, so much work. Your half-sister Genesis and you are feuding about your least favorite chore. Aren't we 50? Selling my townhome, sell it. Yes, and I made $76,000 for it, yeah! Oh, I accidentally went to the cheaper place to donate sperm, but that's fine. I know that they pay less, but they've got a really nice bowl of O. Henry bars, so I went there. Listen, Natalie, marry me. She said yes! Is she trying to, like, gold dig me? Because if she is, I really don't like that. I'm gonna gold dig her right back. Oh, oh, this alluring townhome. Looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna buy another house outright so I can have two. I'm buying it with cash. Uh, oh, oh! This is, uh... This is stressful. How's my relationship with my beautiful wife going? Oh, she loves me now. Don't get sick, sweetie. What if I killed her? Oh wait, but we're not married yet. We have to actually get married before I kill her. I'm gonna plan the wedding. <laughs> I was planning her murder. I gotta plan the wedding first. $9,000. Uh. I gotta wait till next year. I'm selling both my houses. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I'm so rich. I say that I'm an engineer, but I'm a real estate agent. It's time to plan our wedding. It's gonna be at the courthouse of Russia. You're thinking about whether you should make your fiance Natalie sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying her. What'll you do? Your net worth is 300,000 and her net worth is 623,000. We are, n we don't need a prenup. Prenup? I've never heard of it in my life. We got married. <gasps> Now that you're married, I'm keeping my last name because I don't think uh, Mrs. Pussy is going to be around very much longer. Donate it is sperm. Oh, you know, no, no, I, I can't go to the cheap place again. Yeah. That's not that much higher. Look at this. Look at these stats. I didn't even have to get plastic surgery. Look at me. I got to spend time with my mom just in case she dies. I got promoted to director of engineering with a salary of $119,000. I knew that I could sell my services and work hard and be the best husband I could possibly be. Actually, speaking of that, I need to murder my wife. Or should I divorce my wife? I'm divorcing my wife. Yeah. Will I get half of my wife's money if I... Wait, there has to be a kid, right? I'm scared. Maybe I should just kill her? It's really risky to kill her because then I might end up in jail and I'll lose my job. <gasps> if I go to jail, I'll lose my job. I'm just going to try to sell my town home. No luck. These guys just really don't want me to hit the 500k mark. <gasps> They're not interested in my sperm anymore! Reason age! Oh, but I'm good looking and people like me and I have a good job! My wife, what do I do with my wife? Do I have a baby with her? Can I sell the baby? I can adopt! Should I though? You've been pre-approved to adopt a four-year-old boy who's in very poor health. 
Very poor health, huh? He's not gonna make me any money, though. I'm sorry, Stanley Schlitz. I can't help you. Shall we renew our wedding vows? She doesn't want to. Okay, we're getting a divorce. I literally, I can't stand her anymore. Hey. I made $247,000 from getting married and divorcing a rich lady. We're doing it again. I'm gonna start selling my marriages for money. I'm flipping houses, I'm flipping wives. Let's get some love going. I want a 50 to 59 year old so she dies sooner and I want her to make more than $100,000 a year. She's not rich enough for me. I told you, I want a 50 to 59 year old. Oh, 50 years old. She's got a lot of money, I'm gonna go on a date. I'm now dating Camille Bishop. Is my mom ever gonna die? Like, come on. Sell, oh, somebody got it. Oh, I got 500,000 in the bank. Well, it's time to buy the nicest house I've ever had. The Northwest Craftsman Home. It's new and it's in perfect condition. I'm buying it with cash. I'm just the best person ever. Maybe not the one that rejected me, but the other sperm place, maybe they changed their mind. They didn't. Full hundreds across the board. Successful. Everybody likes me. It's a new year, girlfriend. I'm proposing marriage. She said yes. I guess we better plan the uh, wedding, huh? Her net worth is a million dollars. We don't need a prenup. Uh, I'm gonna keep my last name. And she changed hers, uh oh. She's not gonna like that I'm about to divorce her right now. Oh no, I didn't get a settlement. I loved you for 15 minutes! How dare you not give me your money! I, sh I should have waited a year. Oh god, I made a mistake. Since my job won't give me a promotion, I'm emigrating to Sweden. There's probably more money in France, I'm going to France. They approved my request, I'm going to France. You quit your job as the VP, of engineering for Cardinal Development. You have emigrated to Nantes, France. Oh, so who wants to pay me all of their money? I don't know if this game has exchange rates, but 127 euros is actually like $145,000. So I'm gonna apply for this job and I got it. <gasps> Can I find a little French baby? Hmm? A little French baba? Not you, Chloe Pasteur. Maybe I can find love this year. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you. Not with you. Let's find a hookup. I didn't enjoy it e even the slightest bit, but she enjoyed it. She tells you that she recorded it and asks if you'd like a copy of it. Why would she record it? This girl is trying to ruin my life. <gasps> my mother passed away at the age of 82. She died from complications of old age. You can't attend the funeral because it's in the United States and you're in France. I, I didn't get inheritance. My sister who had a million babies inherited all of the money and I'm left here high and dry, alone in my five bedroom apartment with my nice job, <sighs> lonely, knowing that there's a film of me somewhere that I didn't enjoy. Oh no. On the bright side, I make 135,000 euros a year. Oh, ain't that nice? Whoa, I've got a million. <laughs> Making so much money in France is amazing. A million euros for this? And I own it? <laughs> I shall celebrate with a lovely hookup. Well, we'll see. Nope. Well, these France girls are really breaking my balls. She would love to receive your big tip. I'll take her. We enjoyed it. I'm gonna go clubbing because I am good looking. I'm gonna go to the Rainbow Disco. Maybe I'll... I'm too old! Oh, no! Guys, I live in a really big house. People like me. Oh, Marie Chanel. She's 60, which is uh, what I like, but she has no money, so I don't like. Some of your friends are going to the horse races. That sounds like a nice outing, actually. The Golden Choice, Grand Demand, Flying Cloud, Born to Win, or Crusty Toe. I'm gonna go with Crusty Toe for 5,000 euros. Crusty Toe is on the bottom here. Come on, Crusty Toe, come on! Oh, come on, come on! He's speeding up. The blue guy's gonna beat him, but I believe in him in the end. Oh. I just won. 25,000 euros. I've got 1.2 million. France has been treating me well, but I think I'm gonna go back. You quit your job as the VP of engineering at Zenith Investments, and you are now living in Houston with 1.2 million dollars to your name. So I'm guessing the exchange rate isn't the best, but I'm still, I'm still a millionaire. So it's time to find a job. None of them are gonna pay me any money. <laughs> I'm now in Malmo, Sweden. What kind of jobs do you have out here? Bad ones. United Kingdom, surely they want engineers there. There's nothing, there's... My France job was probably the best job I was ever gonna have. I'm going back to France. I can be the VP of engineering. At least I have some form of income now. Time to sell my body. Clara Fontaine, 75 years old and very money. I'm gonna ask her on a date. And 
Now I'm dating a 75 year old. We made hand painted t-shirts and I gotta make sure that I marry her before she dies. Listen, Clara, I know you only have a high school education, but those wallets that you have in each pocket, they thick. And I, I have an appreciation for a nice thick woman. So do you wanna get married? She said yes. Oh, Sunny, I, I would love to. I'm just gonna get right on it. Planning our wedding, it's gonna be a wonderful wedding. The beach and uh, the honeymoon in Turkey, that sounds beautiful. Oh, her net worth is worth way less than mine. So we don't need a prenup and I'm gonna wait for her to die. But if she divorces me, that's a big problem. So I have to keep her happy. I'm 59 years old. <laughs> are, you, are you dead yet, Clara? Like, come on, can you please die? 79, oh, she should be dead around next year. Uh. Great. I keep getting these pop-ups and I'm like, yes, my wife died, but it's like, your car died. Fix it. 1.3? Oh, I'm gonna find out cash. Oh. <laughs> Is my wife gonna die anytime soon? Come on, girl. God, the Chevrolet! Well, leave me alone! 1.8 million. Oh. <laughs> oh, buy and sell. I'm a furniture warehouse. Spending time with my wife. Oh, we went grocery shopping! Yeah! Cheater! <gasps> You discovered that your wife, Clara, has been soliciting men on the corner of an intersection in a seedy part of town. How old is she? You're 94. Stop being a hooker on the corner, please. I'm gonna forgive and forget because she is on her way to the grave and I did not do this because I love her. I did this because I want her money. Clara, how could you? I've never lived a more buttoned up life. I've never lived a life where I studied. I tried to do everything right. I was good to my sister. I was good to my mom. She gave me no money. And now my wife is cheating on me, who I've been extremely nice to. I've only been saying that I hope she dies in private. She's 94, just die already. We went to a hot dog eating co- Oh, you love eating a good hot dog, don't you, Clara? I'm sitting here buying 1.7 million dollar mansions and the best you can do is cheat on me. Wait, didn't I cheat on her? I did. <laughs> Oops. The Chevrolet needs to stop. Your sister Genesis died. How is Clara, my 99 year old wife, outliving Genesis? And where's my inheritance? We're selling the house. Someone bought it, now I can finally fix my stupid Chevrolet. Fix you stupid, oh I hate you. It's 70 years old. While returning a movie to a red box, he came across a shopping bag filled with what appears to be magic mushrooms. Sell it! Sell it! Sell it! Sell it! Sell it! Oh, I earned five grand for it! Oh! I'm selling weird stuff today! I'm waiting one more year. And if my wife doesn't die, I'm gonna kill her. So let's see how that goes. Clara passed away! I didn't have to do it. I inherited $600,000. I'm skipping the funeral. <laughs> I, I mean, Clara, I loved you when I met you. I loved you when I touched your rickety bones. I loved you when you cheated on me on the street corner when you were 95 years old. I loved everything about you, but but unfortunately, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm a little busy that day, so I can't make it. Thank you for the $600,000. Okay, so I bought my house for 1.8, and I can sell it for 2 million. Oh, ooh, these expensive houses sell so easily. I'm really unhappy. Maybe I need a little hookup. Iris Moreau asks if you have a map because she just got lost in your eyes. I'm gonna give it to her. I'm, what? No condoms are available. <gasps> Did France sell out of protection? Keep going, worry later, make sure to pull out or never mind, I can't do it. I guess I'm gonna try to pull out. Oh, I enjoyed it more than she did. And it's time to go shopping for some more real estate. Ooh, six bedroom, haunted. Okay, wait, it's haunted. This might be a trap, it is haunted. This is a 138 year old house. I mean, I'm getting kind of old. Like, this is kind of like my style. So I'm gonna buy it with cash. <laughs> I'm throwing a haunted house party. I can't help myself. My wife is gone. I'm very happy. 154 guests came to the house. I'm finally popular! I had to like grow up and work and be lonely for 40 years and marry somebody that I didn't like, but now I'm so popular. One of your guests has overdosed on crank. I'll take him to the hospital, I guess. 85 years old. I'm selling my house for $3 million. Gonna try to get a little happier, but I just don't know if that's gonna happen. I've done everything right and and no one likes me at all. Oh, but it doesn't hurt to do a little retail therapy, a little buy and sell furniture warehouse. 
Does anyone want 90 year old sperm? I really need this house to sell. 3.3 million? Love that. Boom! This is just a race against time to see how much money I can possibly make before I die. I like it! I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it! Time to find myself a wifey. A rich one. Ooh. Ooh. Lissandra Cuban? Now well, let's go on a date. Uh, I'm gonna murder her. Oh, I died. Mark Park was not able to murder any of his wives. Mark Park died at the ripe old age of 100. He died of natural causes, he followed everything by the book, and he was worth $3.7 million. I really wanted to earn a lot more than that, but I just feel like Mark had bad luck and sometimes that's the way life goes. Speaking of selling stuff, if you look over to my left where the lovely Terry is standing, he is wearing my black merch and it's very blurry actually, you can't even see it at all, but do doesn't he just look like the most beautiful man you've ever seen? Aren't you just ar slightly aroused by that back print? He can do the wiggle in it, he can do jumping jacks in it, he can pick his nose in it. Stop it. That's, that's way too hot. You can buy this lovely merch at gloom.store. I'm taking some things off of the store pretty soon, so make sure you get some things before I do that. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! His funeral was attended by his new girlfriend, so it's a good thing I didn't kill her before then.